Hello and welcome then to the video for this Casio. This is the WV58, uh, WV58 1AES or something like that. Uh, this is the Casio Digital Quartz Wave Scepter 5, uh, or Multiband 5 as it's known. And this one's in pretty nice order uh, with the metal bracelet and the silver front. The uh, display basically is uh, comprised of little tiny um, squares where you get uh, day and date and um, the UTC and the different time zones etc and a little uh, display in there which shows you the if I can get the torch on it there we go uh, which shows you the uh, level of reception to the atomic clock so usual features with these there's plenty of videos out on the internet which uh, explain how to use them because they are quite complicated and the instructions I've got on a PDF file are easily downloadable from Casio's website. The instruction booklet itself is like a little mini brick and you need a magnifying glass to read it. So you're better off reading uh, off of the PDF document. Um, the front itself actually is pretty much scratch free. There are a couple of minor scratches to this uh, standard plastic or mineral crystal that's on it. Uh, but they're pretty hard to spot. It looks pretty much immaculate and the bracelet itself is in good nick with a few minor little scratches to the uh, double security pusher clasp there and it's nice and clean as well so it's uh, in dead tidy condition. Uh, the sync to the atomic clock happens in the evening normally about one o'clock in this instance so if I just push this button here it tells us 103 was the last sync and that was on the 11th of the 1st 2022 and it keeps absolutely immaculate uh, or high precision, the highest you can get near enough in terms of um, uh, accuracy. World time, so it's got different time zones that you can set up. Uh, this one will accommodate a 18 and a half centimeter wrist. There's no other spare link, so it slops around quite nicely on my 17 and a seven, or just under 17 centimeter wrist. So you've got um, that there i know this is going to be pretty boring but uh they are a very clever piece of equipment i mean if you want ultimate precision i use one as just a little uh sort of desktop clock without a band on and you can see they're both exactly uh synced to the right time there looking at both of them at the same time um so it's a good beta watch they're not expensive uh they're about 59 pound new they do a one with a rubber bracelet which is slightly cheaper this one is the uh, slightly dearer out of the two. So um, buttons are in good order. It's a nice condition watch. It comes with a box, but there's no instruction booklet. But as I say, it's pretty hopeless because you have to read it with a microscope <laughs> practically. Uh, lots of time zones, stopwatch alarm. I'm probably repeating myself now, but that's about it. So there we go, WV58. Uh, Thank you.